Thank you for joining me for stage two of the Bull Cabinet Restoration. I hope you find it interesting. I'm about to start repairing um, the, uh, the inlay. Um, and you'll be able to see here there's a lot of uh, araldite. And there's a lot of bubbling all the way through here. And you can see that metal is starting to lift in places. Now to get rid of that araldite, I can use a stripper or I can use a solvent, but the problem with that is the, um, the glue underneath all of this is not well. So that means that if I use a solvent, um, the uh, solvent will drive uh, wax and other particles underneath the um, veneer and it won't stick down. So the only solvent I need to use on this in total is water. That's, that's the only solvent I can use, but that will not remove this araldite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hot air gun and I'm going to use it very carefully. Um, as soon as I heat the, uh, the araldite up, um, it should become soft. It's too hard to remove now uh, by hand. This is uh, quite a useful gun to use and I'm going to set it to start with at about 200 degrees C. Now going down, 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 there we are, 200 degrees C. Now, it ought to be borne in mind that this heat will also dissolve the animal glue which is holding the veneer in place. So I have to be pretty careful. But as with most, most things, compromise sometimes wins the day. So here we go. I'm going to very, I've got that set at 200 as I said. And I'm just going to gently heat this until this araldite starts to bubble. I'm also using a uh, wooden scraper here. If I use metal, it's likely to dig in and scratch. So, here we go. I don't want to increase the heat unless absolutely necessary. It's starting to come off, as you can see here. But it will also, there's also um, French polish, uh, which is a shellac finish on the top of this. Um, and that will unfortunately be dissolved as well with the, uh, with the heat. But you have to accept that, unfortunately. So I'm trying to be aware of the fact that I'm going to dissolve this glue to the heat. And things may start to move. I want to avoid that if at all possible. And this gets a little hotter. A little hotter. I'm going to increase the temperature just a, temperature just a little bit. I'm going to take this to 250 now. It's rising just slowly. 220. 230. There we go. There we are, that's much better. Move over to here. Back again. Let some of that heat dissipate. Yeah, it's 
No, it goes puffy like. A bit more heat there. And now I'm on the cusp of melting this glue. I don't really want to do that if I can help it. By the glue, by the glue I mean the animal glue, not the uh, epoxy resin. Get back over here. That's about it. Back there again. The epoxy remaining on that surface isn't picking enough to cause us a problem later on. So I think I will leave it at that. Let's put that down. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to use water as a solvent. Water will dissolve what remains of that animal glue on that surface there. And then I'll clean these areas out and we'll start to get nice sharp areas um, into which we can lay this. And as you can see, this is absolutely covered in uh, epoxy resin. It, as I've said once before, I think the um, epoxy resin doesn't stick this down. Before getting all of this uh, animal glue out of here and cleaning this, I'm going to lift a few of these pieces, but as you can see, they're rather large um, and I don't want to disturb areas that um, are already sound. So what I'm going to use is my cutter, which has a little bit of a, uh, a grinder on the end, as you can see there. It's very thin um, and I'm going to be a bit careful about where I do the, uh, the cutting. Uh, so uh, you may be able to see areas like that which have been engraved. Uh, you see they're black. Um, so those are the sorts of areas that I'm going to do the cutting on. See this little piece that follows through here? That is a separate piece. There is a join there. So in order to get this piece out, I'm going to cut there. Um, uh, this piece here, I'm going to have to remove quite a lot um, of material, I think. So what I'm looking for now is an area that I can actually cut. So I'm going to um, I'm going to cut two areas on there. One is that area there. I think I'll cut there, um, and that will free that. And I'm going to cut across here. I think that's going to be the best way of doing it. But before I take that piece out, I'm going to take this piece out. So here we jolly well go. A little bit more. this area here. I'm going to see this area at the back here.
Right, now I'm going to lift the brass. I'm going to apply a little bit of heat to do the lifting. Not too much heat. Let's get the thermostat up to about 250 to start with. Try not to distort the uh, the brass any more than I have to. We are that pieces out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all the loose pieces of brass. Once they're cleared, um, then I will clean up all the, um, the animal glue pending new pieces of brass being laid. So I'm not going to bore you with that, but um, I'll film it as we carry on. Just out of a point of interest, uh, these little cuts that I'm putting in here, um, they, I am removing quite a bit of the brass, but what I will do is I'll make little brass um, sleeves. Uh, which I will tap into the um, the surface of the wood and then flush the brass off afterwards so uh, you won't be able to see the, the joints. So here we are. There we go. Just putting a mask on because I don't want to breathe all this stuff in.
There we are. I think I've done that now, taken the mask off. And now it's just a question of removing some of these bits of brass. I'll just clean the spatula off. start by doing these up here. So I'll set this to 250. It's quite interesting looking at uh, the paper on which this veneer was uh, originally laid. It's, it's actually in French. There's some uh, newsprint underneath here. Right, so we got that to 250. Um, uh, I hope you can see over here, this, this piece has been laid down using Araldite again and the way to uh, soften the Araldite is a little bit of heat Unfortunately, that's exactly what we want Not too much heat and I'm trying not to distort the, uh, the brass as I take it out This whole piece is going to have to come out I just very gently heat it Careful not to stretch the metal if I can help it. Just send that that way. Get a bit more heat up. I don't think I'll lift that piece, it's not distorted, I think that will stick down, so I'll leave that bit. That will stick down as well. I mean, two minds about this area here, it looks as though someone's put some glue underneath it, so it's kind of proud. So I think that's going to have to be uh, removed. I'll do that in a minute. We'll go over to the other side now. That's that side there. Okay, so I'm going to take this strip off here. Just gently heat it. Got to be a bit careful not to uh, remove this uh, tortoise shell and pigment layer there. That, that will do, that will do. I'm going to take this entire brass strip off here. Get a bit of heat happening. You can see some areas have stuck pretty well and others not. One's been stuck down with some more old eye. Or epoxy resin, more accurately. You can see it's all inside there. It's 
so I'm just going to soften that epoxy. Proving to be rather difficult. I might resort to another another method. Just going to get my cutter sorted. Curiously, as I, as I heat that with the grinder, there's a slight smell of urine. Um, and apparently urine was used to hold back the, um, the gelling time of the, uh, the animal glue. Um, which is a bit unpleasant. I think it used to be referred to as maiden's water as the addition. see that um, there are little score marks where I've used the grinder. Um, uh, the brass will be replaced with more brass, a little slither of brass, um, and then I'll use a coloured filler to fill in the uh, areas of the uh, uh, tortoiseshell and pigment there that um, has been exposed, so it will all disappear. Good. Now, I need to soften the animal glue that uh, is in here so that I can remove it. Um, and you, you could spread water all over there, but it's going to lift everything. So um, what I use is some paper, uh, which I've um, soaked in water. And I'll wring it out. So what I'll do is I'll just put this all over here. And that'll at least confine the water to the areas that I want it confined to. And it won't spread underneath the surface. The glue is in such bad condition that um, it, if it did spread under the surface, it would help to lift uh, what remains there. You know, the uh, pigmented veneer and tortoiseshell. I'll just leave that soaking here like this. Let's press it down. Yeah, that's enough to be going on with. Squish it down a bit. And come back in about 20 minutes or so and then start removing some of that uh, animal glue which hopefully will be softened enough at that point. Thanks for watching stage two of the bull cabinet restoration. Please join me for stage three.